Sunny Touch is here with us once again. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me back. <laughs> and you know, uh, just before we get into it, please, Sonny, introduce yourself so that we know from the basis of uh, how we start, where we're starting this conversation. All right. So my name is uh, I'm Sonny Kamau, but I'm known as Sonny Touch. Yes. <laughs> I'm a certified skincare specialist. And uh, I want to make this clear that I'm not a dermatologist. Yes. Uh, skincare specialist, we address skin issues targeting cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Yes. So okay. we're going to look at it um, from a cosmetic perspective. Perspective. Yes. So we, uh, Nikitaka, oh, I want bigger, fuller lips. Uh, <laughs> we can do that. We too. can do, we can do that, that with like lip liners and stuff. Exactly. But if you want like proper, you know cosmetic surgery that is not you yes no okay. that's medical okay yes. cool so now we're talking about skin changes mm -hmm. and i swear i have seen it all from acne to hyperpigmentation yeah. to darkening mm -hmm. of the neck and other parts of the body as well so we're going to start yes. with just one okay. probably find out what causes it some of the symptoms how to you know probably manage the situation Okay. and find out if actually it goes away after you've given birth. All right. So first and foremost, congratulations mm -hmm. to all moms. Yay. And uh, to those who are still waiting, keep trusting in God. It's going to happen. I mean, amen. 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 <laughs> yes. So skin changes when you're pregnant, right? Um, the those who get melasma or cloasma. Now that's the hyperpigmentation. Oh, okay. So you're here's the me. thing. <laughs> So here's the thing, hyperpigmentation is a group of different hyper, different types of hyperpigmentation. Okay. Yeah. So when a woman is pregnant, the hyperpigmentation that they get is called uh, melasma. And this happens on your cheeks, um, on your mouth area, on your neck, decollete, um, your stomach starts to darken, mm -hmm. uh, there are those who don't darken is such uh, like the whole belly but just uh, the color line yes. you get so uh, it can appear anywhere okay yeah it can appear anywhere and this is caused by um, melanin because uh, we have melanin and yes. uh, it changes or rather it clears after delivery Okay. Yes. Okay. But okay. this is what I always say. Always have a skincare specialist who is guiding you through. So once you realize that you're pregnant, there are skincare products that uh, they will advise you to use. So whatever I was using before I got pregnant, mm -hmm. it needs to sort of change when I get pregnant. Yes. Or does it change when I start realizing that my skin color is changing in some parts of my body? I'm a person who believes in prevention. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Prevention is better than cure, right? Mm -hmm. So as soon as you realize that you're pregnant, uh, contact a skincare specialist. Okay. So that they can be able to advise you whether you should add one, two, or three products, mm -hmm. or maybe you will have to leave the whole range of skincare that you have been using and now continue with another range that will take you through throughout the pregnancy journey. Okay. And once you deliver, um, or maybe once you're even done breastfeeding, your mm -hmm. hormones are back, you can now go back to your normal skincare range. So, for example, if I do not have probably a skincare specialist and I'm probably not able to afford one at that point, okay. what would be a home remedy? Um, what would be your uh, suggestion in terms of taking care of your skin during pregnancy? I would advise you go with um, botanicals, uh, okay. organic mm -hmm. products, right? Because um, these ones don't have as much side effect. And I understand most people say that skincare is expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That's that why is I'm true. here. It, yes. It's quite affordable. You know, mm -hmm. gone are the days where people used to say that skincare is for people who live, I don't know, Lavington, I don't mm -hmm. know where. Mm -hmm. No, I'm here for you and them. Okay. All right. Okay. And I believe in saying that I can. I was listening to Jeff, yes. you know, like we have to manifest these things, yes. you know, you have to believe in yourself, okay. you know, and once you have someone who is guiding you, uh, because at the end of the day, even though you say it's expensive, this condition, imagine it will still happen. Mm. So it's just a matter of sacrifice. 
okay. sacrifice. You even maybe don't have to do the whole treatment. Mm -hmm. Just sacrifice and get a consultation. All okay. right. So go with organic products such as uh, jojoba oil, shea butter, mm. um, grapeseed oils, and um, nowadays people, most people have have uh, have damaged their skin barrier. Mm. So you find even when I'm seated here, I'm giving an example, yes. someone does not know that they have damaged their skin barrier. So okay. even when we mention these ingredients, we can someone will just go and purchase them. Yes. You understand? And start using them. Mm. So and the fact that I'm on the ground, like I see, I deal with clients every single day, different skin conditions, Mikali. I'm just somewhere where I'm like, try and save. You understand? To like get something legit? To get, no, no, like do a consultation. Yeah, like okay. Like I'll, I'll give my example. Like we charge consultation only 1,500 shillings ah. only. Only. It's okay. manageable. Okay, okay. All right? And the next now. time when you come, yes. you won't pay for it. Okay. It does not matter whether Utokiapa, you go abroad, you contact Uchirundi. me. I will still, even while you're still there, yes. you ask me, can I use this product? I'll be able to, to guide do that you. for free. Yes. Okay. So that I want to have your record with me. Okay. That okay. Yamikali is under me. Okay. You understand? So it's best you save and get something. Get something that, that is, is legit. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about stretch marks. Okay. It's the mother of like you get pregnant and it's the one conversation most women will be talking about. Mm -hmm. And they will be talking about how many things don't scratch yourself. When you when you feel itchy because that will create the the, the stretch marks. Yeah. Use this oil, <laughs> use that oil. So I don't know. What is your take on this? There is no study that shows that uh, there is a product that clears stretch marks. Oh. There, there, let no one lie to you. I know there are thousands of products out there. Zimeandikwa. Zimeandikwa. And let me tell you something. You as a consumer, mm -hmm. you know these brands. The, how will they get you through those bold words on those products it clears stretch marks you you don't even have time to read the ingredients to know whether it will work or it won't work and as i've said there is no study that shows there's a particular product for stretch marks stretch marks is caused um when the skin stretches mm -hmm. right so the only thing you can do, because when your skin stretches, when we stretch our skin like this, mm -hmm. the moisture that our skin produces, it evaporates. Okay. You understand? And this means the more you keep stretching yourself, you'll start itching. When your skin keeps stretching, you'll start itching and all that. So the best thing you can do is keep on moisturizing and moisturizing and moisturizing. Ah, so that is what they should be doing. That is what they should be doing. Okay. And you see, uh, when when you get to about like six seven months there the the belly is bigger yeah. so the stretch marks the your entire body your whole skin will still stretch right yes. which means that if you do not moisturize your skin like it will it will show out mm. you okay. understand so okay. keep on moisturizing let's say uh, three times every day okay yeah and okay. there's there's no study and whether you're pregnant or not pregnant because i have seen men with stretch marks mm, you mm, understand mm. because it can be genetic okay as well okay. so you need to check from your family maybe footprint and there's nothing you can do about that okay yeah. that is stretch marks hope you got help <laughs> moisturize moisturize acne yes it will be over here, then over here, then a mugongo, then you don't know what to do. Yes. And to turn a wet out in a shanga eye, especially if the bump is not showing. Yeah. You're just like, what's happening with you? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So, again, um, acne, the different types of acne. But now when you're pregnant, there is no doubt this acne is called is caused by hormones. Yes. Right? Because yes. now uh, when women are pregnant there's a hormone that uh, is called um estrogen it produces your sebaceous it causes your sebaceous glands to produce more oil and more oil will lead to clogged pores all right so how can you control that acne again if you notice that you're pregnant, please, 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 I beg of you, just rush or call your skincare specialist and let them guide you. Or maybe you go to your doctor. 
right they'll be able to tell you on the products that you're supposed to use because because now when you're pregnant there are products that you cannot use mm -hmm. because some of these products they will get some of these ingredients rather they will get absorbed uh into your blood and they might end up hurting your unborn child and you mm. don't want that okay yes so some of these ingredients are salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide these are very good ingredients but when you're pregnant please mm -hmm. check with your doctor because a higher percentage might end up um, causing more harm okay yes so they might be good for me even yes. to before I'm pregnant before you're but pregnant. When I'm pregnant yes it is okay to walk that journey yes and whatever remedy I get is it gonna be able to apply to be uh, will it be applicable to all the parts that I have acne? Am I? It will be different for different parts. I mostly, you know, with with acne, you can still continue with your regimen, right? But uh, there's that spot treatment, mm -hmm. like you just apply where that acne is. Okay, you get. But as I have mentioned, when you're pregnant, take it more serious. That do not self recommend any product. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because it can be an anger. To not stop, <laughs> stop, 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 because I mean, we all react differently. Yes, we do. Yeah, which, we which do. shouldn't be the case. One might have acne and they use a product that will work for them, right? Yes. And then their friend will be so glad, like, oh, you have a solution. Mm. So can I try this? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You are not the same. No. Maybe you have even compromised their skin. Maybe they haven't. Yeah. All right. Maybe they went to see a specialist. And you're just there saying that you want worked, to pick the same it product for it will definitely work exactly for me. See, you know <laughs> our colors are the same lies w uh, is there a skin condition uh skin change that we haven't talked about we have about two minutes uh let's say um dryness yes your feet yes uh the creams i, I would advise them to stay out of lotions and go with creams because, because it ends, you end up looking very scaly. Yes, and yeah. so ashy. Mm. So you don't want that. Again, remember when you're pregnant, as in um, moisturize, 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 over and above that, drink enough water. I don't like the term that people use, like you need to drink a lot of water. Like how much is much? They said eight glasses a day. Um, <laughs> According for to me, particular water. App, they told me to drink about 12. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? It's different. Your I water think. intake should be guided by the activities that you're doing. Okay. During the day, right? right. Because right. Mikali, when you go to the gym and you're just in the office, like you, when you're in the gym, you're losing a lot of sweat. Mm -hmm. You need to replace that, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you're in the office, people who take a lot of water, they're always sipping. Look at them; they're always in and out of the washroom. Yes. You understand? Yes. So when you're pregnant, um, you need to drink plenty of water, of course. Yeah. But because as in your unborn child, I take you from you. Yeah. So yeah? you're feeding for two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check on your lips as well. Always make sure you have a calib balm, calib gloss. I mean, just glow, honey. Glow. <laughs> Sunny, how can people get in touch with you? <laughs> how can we consult? Because I think the one thing we're taking home mm -hmm. from this conversation is we need a very, to have a very close relationship Yes. With a skin specialist. Yes, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So my number is 0793-649-716. You can get me on Instagram. I'll be dropping videos every week. You know those tiny videos like it's Sony underscore touch K E, like touch. Yes. Uh on Facebook at Sony Touch as S O W N I E Sony Touch. On YouTube is Sony Touch TV. Okay. We are Please all repeat about the number. 0793 yes. 649 716. Okay. Yes. Asante sana. Asante fia. I'm glad. <laughs> Moisturize. Yes, please. Okay, I hope you learned something from that. Remember, we are taking in all your messages. All you need to tell us is what are you manifesting? What are you seeing? What are you speaking into your month of September? Triple one, triple four, triple one for you to be able to walk away with a gift hamper courtesy of Hacker Industries. And I've got 20 to give away. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>